buenos días mis amores, buenos días y aquí estoy como todo domingo tempranito en la mañana ready para irnos a la iglesia a lograr, déjeme coger mi espada porque sin mi espada no puedo pelear la batalla por aquí voy, pero es en un momento ¡Ey! ¡Ey! ¿En serio? Vamos a ir a la Today is a blessed Sunday, you know, in the Christmas. And then we got to hear Puerto Rico in la casa. In la casa or in the car? In la casa de Ghana. <laughs> la casa de Ghana. How are you people doing? We are blessed today, you know. Um, Another blessed day. Yes. Our regards to you all. Our prayer, you know behind you all, you know, as we are going to church today, we pray for you guys, we're going to pray for you guys too. And we have an amazing video tonight, and we're going to make a live video. See? Yeah, we have, people ask me, hey, go, live video, live video. A live video is coming up tonight. Before the, 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 the month finish. Yes. So, today is going to be the last Sunday of the month. No, baby. Today is my time. Hey, Bob, get in the lights green. I think today is. Um, no, maybe today. Today the, is 19 or 20. The 19. Today is 19. Now we're gonna. We have. Um, well, um, something for Christmas. <laughs> for the children. Así que estamos preparando algo para Christmas. Y ahora son videitos de gracias a todas esas personas que han donado. <laughs> Eh, durante ¿verdad? estos meses para la letrina para la lo que dieron para la renta de Joana todo eso va a ser un video excelente créanme que sí así que gracias sigan you know, aportando al ministerio Jehová proveerá porque realmente estamos haciendo lo que Dios ha puesto en nuestro corazón ayudar a los niños de Ghana así que los amo bye Amen. Because we are, we are not done on it. We have not fulfilled purpose yet. We can't die. Say, I can't die. I can't die. Say, I can't die, I can't die before my time. No, no, no. Say it. I can't die before my time. I can't die before my time. Me, I can't die before my time. Until my time is due, nobody. I tell you, nobody. Because I know John chapter 7, verse 13 words for me. John 7, 30. They tried to kill him, but nobody was able to touch him. For his time Amen. was not him. That's right. His time was not yet come. For him to die, never. Nobody. Why? Because you were the beloved of God. I am the beloved of God. Yes. I don't know about you, but I am the beloved of God. And I know you are the beloved of God. The beloved of the Lord too shall dwell in the safety of God all day long. And the Bible says that, and God will carry him on his shoulders. Amen. That is why we dwell. Though. Can you come close to God to come and touch me? Amen. I declare over your life, you will not die December. I'm still on these declarations that you not die in December. Mm -hmm. The most painful death ever in life is not the one that happened in February, not March, not January. Amen. Mm -hmm. The one that happened in December is very painful. Yeah. And the most painful one is that it will not even happen on 1st December or 2nd. The death the going. The power. Yeah. Ah! That will not be our question. Yeah. No, I said that will not be our portion. Yeah. They will not see our, our, our family wages will not be, 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 be pompous and say, hey, you know. uh, yeah. They will not take fans for that. No, they will not take fans for our death. No, 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 they, no, no, no family member of yours for that. Yeah. See, this is when we say it like this. <laughs> you will think like, oh, mother of God, you will not die. I'm, you will not die. But I'm telling you, somebody might be marked with a, with a death, marked with death. Or they sign death warrant on somebody. Say so, December you look. I'm pan so when you you lose God, they'll kill you. Yeah. So some men of God will organize program in December. Not my head, not my blood. <laughs> not my head, not my blood. And December death to accident, accident, and the death to his head. You see that your head is off. They cut your head like something. But that will not be our portion. I just want to share a message with you and we pray tonight. Today we are going to just lift a silent prayer, then we'll be out of here. Just just 
Yeah, we began early, so we will close early. Hallelujah. By 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 20, we are out of here. Amen. You see that? But let, let's open our Bible to the book of James chapter number one. James chapter one. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, the glory. Great things he has done. And give him the glory. Great things and give him the glory. Great things he has done and give him the glory. Oh, shut up. And give him the glory. Great things he has done and give him the glory. Praise and praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice, come to the Father. Through Jesus, the Son, and King, the Glory. James at the one, verse one coming to six. Yes. James at the one, verse one coming to six. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. My brethren, my brethren, count it all joy when ye fell into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have a perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing if any of you lack wisdom let him ask of god that given to all men liberally and upbraided not and it shall be given to him but let him ask in faith not wavering for he that wavered is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed amen 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 i have the seven and eight seven and eight <clears throat> For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of God. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Amen. Amen. A double-minded man is unstable <coughs> in all his ways. A double-minded man. <clears throat> A double-minded man is somebody who is having doubt. Amen. Amen. So Thomas like this was a double-minded man. This one, James, somebody who works with Jesus, who worked with Jesus. And he said that, he said that those who lack wisdom, they should ask the Lord. Now, James was writing to, to the church. He was writing to the 12 tribes which, which are scattered abroad. The tribes which are scattered abroad. No, this message is also for you and I. That if any of you lack wisdom, maybe that time somebody was there who, is, who was lacking wisdom. James knew that no, there was somebody who lacked wisdom. Let him ask the Lord. Now, what do you lack? In life? You know, sometimes when you read the Bible, the Bible says that the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. In other words, the Lord is my shepherd and I will lack nothing. But can you tell me that as you sit here, you, you lack nothing? Can you tell me you lack nothing? No, oh, yeah, she. I'm taking. My mind is also taken. I'm taking. I'm praying. I'm taking. Christmas is just it. The Lord is my shepherd. No, that one not nothing can change. He's still my shepherd. I shall not want. In fact, sometimes you take and take that. No, that I shall not want. It's a spiritual. I shall not want. Not physical. <laughs> <laughs> because he said that God will bless you with what all spiritual what 
That's right. So spiritually, we are blessed. But the physical, that one, it takes prayer to cause the manifestations. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So this is what James is talking about. James is saying that God has blessed you with all spiritual blessings. He has given you everything. Now, even if you lack wisdom, ask him and he will give it to you. And that God, when he's giving to you, he will not even take it back. He will not even think about, like, Pastor Samuel, want to give me a car on my birthday. And he's thinking, like, should I give to him or not? No, 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 no. OK, let me give, let me give. No, 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 the car, I'll take it to work. Like, you know, like, when I'm coming to from level two, so from two from here to um, no 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 <laughs> yeah that, and he said no 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 I will not give but God will not do that amen God will just give to you amen amen Hallelujah. now what I I want us to pray is that in this few days left it's not been about twelve days may God increase our faith so for, it is true that when there, there are days when you ask God when you ask God God will give to you but you know what. We are double-minded. We are thinking what God gives to us. But, but you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes, church, we, we read the scriptures, but we forget. You know, we read the scriptures, we work with it. I, I know it happens to everybody here. You read the scripture, you work with it for some one week, two weeks, be, then you throw it away. Yeah, then you take another one, you work with it one week, two weeks, be, then you put it somewhere. You work with another one. Because I know that you've read it in the Bible before. That the Bible said that whatever you need from the Lord, ask. And it shall be given. Haven't you read it before? Matthew chapter 7. Ask, it shall be given to you. Haven't you read it before? And you will be that week you were saying that the battle I will ask and it shall be given. I ask in the name of <laughs> and you, you receive nothing, so you have stopped asking. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Do you know what? Next year is our year of the power of the glory. Amen. Amen. And it takes faith to manifest the power for glory to be seen. It takes faith to manifest power. I said it takes faith to manifest what? Uh, or oh, it takes faith to manifest what? Uh, it takes faith to manifest power. Amen. No, if it doesn't take faith to manifest power, then Peter couldn't have manifested power in that crippled man. It took faith. He got there. He said, Master, I want to manifest power. So then Rise up and walk. That is faith manifesting what? Power. And after that, what happened? The glory was seen. So in 2022, if you don't have faith, you can't manifest power for glory to be seen in your life. 2022 is not a year of apostles. It's not a year of the men of God, though. It's a year of all of us. Everybody is manifesting the power song. Amen. Amen. Everybody is manifesting song. When you get there now, you meet a blind person. I say, man, Baba, that is my hand. First time, hey! No, no, no. You see, Christians, I don't believe you know something. And then they also follow Dean and Mabel. I don't believe you know something. Because yeah? everybody here is also follow. Look at it. Do you know that the witches, the witches, when they, when, when they, 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 they say fly, 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 fly. When they fly, and when they get to your place, if they want to destroy you, do you hear them? Or have you ever heard that one came to confess and said that, oh, in the name of Satan, in the name of Satan, I destroy you. Do they do that? No. When they come, they believe that they carry power in them. So they are coming for oppression. When they come, they come to destroy and they leave. Listen. They know themselves. They know their identity. They know that they've deposited some in, evil wickedness in them. So when they come, they apply the wickedness. But we, we know that we, 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 we uh, power, power, they've given us power, but we can't manifest the power. Amen. Our faith is so low that even when we mention the name of Jesus, nothing happens. Amen. They say that in my name you will cast out demons. In my name you in my name you heal the sick. In my name you you master. Haven't you mentioned the name of Jesus before? Nothing happened. Faith me, sir. The one that he said that do you have have seen master sick before? I have some in the house. He said, if you, ask, if you have faith like the master seed, like the master seed, do. the faith, double minded Christians, will it work? That's what you're asking. Like, like mommy is sick. 
Then I saw food yesterday. Put your hand on your tummy. Let me put my hand on it. In the name of Jesus, I beg you. Ah! So that he's thinking. Mm, I did. When I pray, it will not work. Mm. <laughs> and, and, and the woman is, is feeling bad. The woman is dying. So I said, when I pray, it will not work. And you, you go and put the trust in drugs. Doctors, they only cure symptoms. So. Mm. Mm. I saw for two and a coin here. I'm putting a bit of a sack on here. Total healing. It, it comes from God. Amen. For the doctors, they will say that you will be there now. <coughs> the, the, the pain will come again. The pain will come again. The doctors only cure, they cure the symptoms. But the healing, healing comes from God. Amen. Do you know what? Within the week, I was ministering on, 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 on covers and I said that. You know, you can say that you don't trust. You can. You, you know what? One thing is that we lose hope. We lose hope. You can lose hope. Somebody was. I was ministering, and the man lady said that I've lost hope. He said, "Yes, I've lost." He said, "I'm losing hope because I'm married for 13 years and no baby, so I'm losing hope." And the Lord said to me, "That tell her." That on all hope was lost, Abraham still hoped in the Lord. In the Bible. God, That's God. right. Same God. That's him, God. And I told them that and Abraham, Bible said that and Abraham waited patiently for the promises of God and it came to pass. Now listen to me. And I told them that the reason why she's losing hope is because she has trusted in creation than the creator. And everybody here, that's what we do. We trust creation than the, the, the creator. We trust a man, a man like me. You can trust me and you leave God. You can trust us and leave God. The creation, you can trust the creation and leave the creator. You can lose hope in all creation, but not the creator. Amen. 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 You can lose all hope in creation, but never lose hope in the creator. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know. That what Job went through, Job had all the chance to lose hope in the Creator. But yet my Redeemer lived. He said that all my friends can say anything they are Christian. Let my wife even say anything that she wants. She's, a, she's, she's just a creature. But listen to me. My Redeemer. I will never lose hope in the Redeemer. I will never lose hope in the Creator. I will never lose hope. In the altar and the finisher of my face. That same God. That same God. I will never lose hope. Praise the Lord. Sometimes when we go through challenges, remember these things. It happened, though. It's not stories. It's not fabricated stories. It happened. When I go, when I went to Bogus, I was asking them, Are you sure it happened that a woman was having the issue of blood and the woman had the thought and the woman said that let me go and touch the hem of his garment and I'll be healed and the woman went and touched it and she was healed. Did it happen? No, do you believe that it happened? Yes. No, as for sometimes we don't believe. Do you believe? Do you believe that Jesus was walking with Peter and go and told them that go, Peter, go, go for fishing. Cut the first fish, open the mouth, the fish, open the mouth, you will see money there. Ampa, when you went to the Ampa, 200 cities in the fish, my God, what are you talking about? Did this happen? Did this happen? Yeah. Did it happen? Yeah. If it happened, then God can do the unexpected for you. Amen. 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 If it happened, then God can do the unexpected for you. You don't, we, we don't believe God. That That's same God. God. That same God can do it. You see, today, to, 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 we see that at first, when you pray, tell God that that same God, you are that same God who did it for Hannah, do it for me. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are faithful then, then you can be faithful now. Amen. Praise the Lord. If God was faithful then, then God will be faithful now. Amen. Amen. That same God of David, that same God of Abraham, that same God of Israel, that same God who made us cross the, the, the Red Sea safely, that same God will take us through the Jordan. He will take us through the Jordan. That same God will take us through the Jordan. That same God. He has not changed. 
the only issue that has changed is that for us we are double minded mm. that is the only thing that has changed for him he changed not for him he changed not he will be the same he was the same yesterday today and he will be the same forever as I thought, 2022, he will be that same God. That same God who took us from January to November is taking us to December to 2022. That same God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That same God. Thank you. That same God. He's taking us through. Yes. If only we can believe. I was sitting in the car and God, 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 God was telling me that. He, he was just, I was just communicating with God and I said that it's like, it's like some of us, some of the scriptures that we began life with, we've forgotten about them all. Like John 3, 16. Every day is on the mouth. the same God. Yes! Every day is on the mouth. He gave his own. He gave his only begotten son. And when I was, I, I was praying, yeah, God said that, God said that without, without the, the giving of the son, there can be the, nothing like, like salvation. Yeah. If he was not giving birth to he would have never died to be resurrected in silver. Amen. Amen. But sometimes we only look at the, you know, we, we think that the bet is about just celebration, eating, and drink, drinking. And you know, next week we, we will talk, we will talk more about Christ. Amen. Amen. We'll talk more about his bet. Hallelujah. Amen. How important the bet is. Hallelujah. How important the bet is. We always look at the, the death. Yes, it is good, but the bet too. Amen. 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 The birth too. Yeah. The John 3 system we've forgotten also. For, we've forgotten that for God so loved the word that he gave his mm. only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him will not what? Perish. But I have everlasting life. And God said I should ask somebody, do you have everlasting life? If you believe you have everlasting life, then listen to me. Then you will not perish. Amen. You will not perish. You see, and God said to me this morning when I was looking at that scripture, God said to me that perish, and you did, he said, oh, My son, do you know that you people, you are thinking that the perish is about just dying? <laughs> like just dying, like, like I'll not die, I'll not perish, I'll not, and, and, and most of the people think that I'll not perish means that I'll not go to hell. You know, that's the mindset that those who believe in him will not perish. Then it means that I will not go to hell. You listen to me, apply it to everything. Your business will not perish. Amen. Your marriage will not perish. Amen. Your finances will not perish. Amen. You will not perish. Amen. Apply it to anything that I will it will not perish. Amen. Amen. I have eternal life and it must affect everything. Amen. So Paul and Silas understood this thing. Also. So when they were in the prison yard, when they got free times to move out, if they didn't move, they were, they were still there. And the jailer came. And the jailer said that, ah, this people, what's up? Hmm. They didn't go anywhere. And he said that, what must I do to be saved? He said that, believe in the Lord Jesus and what? You and your household shall be saved. Amen. Amen. You and what? Your household, let me tell you, and I've been saying it that when you come to my house, the chair in the house is part of the household. Yes. That's your life. God tell you. So <laughs> so when you come there and you sit there, if you touch me and you there must be a transfer of anointing. When you sit on my chair, there must be a transfer of anointing. Amen. 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 If you are cursed, everything about you is cursed. Yes, cursed. If you are cursed, everything about you. We believe that, you know. We believe. Amen. We believe so when they catch somebody and a person died, if there is time for one year and they go, nobody will take the growth of the person because that person was cursed. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. But if you are blessed, if you are blessed, ah, so it is more than it is just like me believing that we are sinners, but it's hard to believe that you are righteous. Oh, gosh. It is just like that, that you believe that I am a sinner, but it is very hard for you to believe that I'm righteous. The manufacturer is still a repairer. That's right. So we won't take it anywhere. We'll come to him, no matter what happens. He said, "He said I'm a faithful God to even forgive you." Oh. Yet when we were sinners, yet when we, so but that is, these are some of them. You know, God is just bringing the scriptures. So the, the, the basic ones that we used to use, use and preach and, and make screaming and do this. These are the scriptures that God is bringing. What we were yet sinners, Christ died. God showed us no, love. We were righteous. No, no, no. No, 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 no. The Bible, Jesus Christ himself said that the, 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 the one who is sick does not need a doctor. Mm, Paul said it. Yes. yes. The one who, who is sick. Say, will somebody die for somebody who is sick? No. You know, so, 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 if you are not sick, what are you going to do at the hospital? Oh, come on. Nothing. <laughs> and what are you 
you going to do? Are, 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 you, are you a supervisor? <laughs> no, the problem of the Pharisee is that <laughs> they claim they are righteous, yes, they right. want salvation. That's right. So, so but Jesus, he said that if you are saved, get out of the clinic if you are not saved. That's right. Come out. So some of us, some of us, these are the things we used to, we have to go back to. We have to go back to, and this, these are the things that that's right. It that's why it builds back the love. Amen. The love. You know, when you came to Christ, when you were actually in the the way God loves me, the way God, whilst we are growing up, it's like just like marriage and the, our relationship. When you meet at first, now, when the love you are growing now, the love is like something to me. And then as you go now, something will happen. And the revival. That's right. Like, the revival. You see that the love. Oh, it's like the day that you met at first. Best business. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Some things that you used to do that you stop, you start doing them again. You, you can ask uh, something. <laughs> <laughs> you start doing that, I'm telling you. You start, but as you go now, then. So, you see, Christianity a bit applies to everything. Yeah. It, uh, marriage. Marriage itself is a Christianity. Yeah. Marriage yeah, itself. Yeah, right, bro. That's right. Marriage itself is the Christianity. I'm telling you. Yeah. He said that Christ is married to the church. So every man, if you want to really and love your wife and your wife, your wife, the wife to be submissive to the husband, these two people must understand the marriage between Christ and the church. Mm -hmm. Christ and the church. He said that husbands love your wife as Christ loved the church. Amen. That's right. So if you want to know, go and study about the love between Christ and the church. So when you understand that connection, that Christ came. And Christ is waiting, he's preparing. Then a well, man will know that okay, then I have to also be preparing the wife. Well, still she's my wife, but I'm still preparing her. So the bride grooming, it doesn't stop. Old. No. You groom the bride, and after marriage, you are still grooming, grooming the wife. Yeah. You if groom you the become, bride and groom the wife. If you become fat, you go for walking. I'm telling yeah. you. When he comes, you take him to oh, yes. the joint. I'm telling you. Bring him back the old thing. At some time, so you are <laughs> nah, she's going to cook. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't cook today. <laughs> today don't cook. At first, when you met her, when she's going to go, oh, no, no, let's go to uh, what's else more? Bachelors. Let's go and eat family park. Don't cook. I cook and prayer you. walk. <laughs> and prayer walk. And prayer walk. And, 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 the day that you met, you, every time you cook. Hello? Can we pray? Can we pray together? <laughs> Can we pray together? I have morning devotions. Morning devotion. Yeah. Every day, yeah, but. <laughs> when you got na, that's all. Mm -hmm. so uh, sometimes we must go back to the basics. Yes, let's start go back. Fresh that's right. Start afresh, like these things, like these things. Sometimes when you became a child of God and you you, you used to go on your knees and pray to God, I believe that you do it for me. I believe that you do it for me. This job that I'm applying for God, I believe I'll, I'll get it. And lo and behold, so for you go and you get it too. You will get it. Amen. Yeah, but immediately you get it now, you, you, you forget about this step. You put the step down. That's same God. That's a God. That's that that same woman. That's 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 the Bible even said that. Don't forget the one what told the breast or something that told yeah. you, you. The wife of your youth. Yeah. So the wife of your youth, do you know the youth the way you are you can enjoy? <laughs> when you grow up now, you are forget. So he said, that, don't forget. So when you are going now, you, you remember? The thing it was, it was already before it become a uh, destroy, uh, destroyed purple. <laughs> Peche <laughs> purple. <laughs> it was a, yes, you remember. Amen. <laughs> These things it will it will take us back. We drink from our old fountain. That's right. It will take, you say ah, first I used to pray. I can I can even meditate. First I used to I used to love the Lord more. Mm -hmm. I used to have that connection with God more. But now let's go back. Repent. That's why we go to the top again. Repent. 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 See, 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 see. Let's go back to the lab. Yeah. 2022. Let's begin it with this way. Let's go back to the lab. Let's go to the basis. Something before. It, 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 it doesn't mean you're maybe Christian. No. Who told you? Don't tell me that. When you know that you are baby, you are not a baby Christian. You are matured. You are growing. Yeah. You go back. Do you know when you are growing? Listen, when you are growing, when you get to some age, in cheat, they say, wah, wah, mm -hmm. You know, you say that, wah, wah, crap, which means yes, that you have become to the... So you've returned to like, that, that oh, youthful age, yeah. that, that time, like when you were growing up. So you don't care. That's right. Again. 
Sometimes we Sometimes we become too old before our age. You know, we are not up there. You are not. You are not fifty, but you act as if you are fifty years. But in, in, in Christianity and in the spirit, you are basically 13, 12 years. And act like that. You, are, you, know, you know those kids? Those kids, they are, they are like 30, but they act like they are 60. Like they are 20, but they act like they are 50 years. And when they speak, they, when they do things, people are like, hey, like you can hear that. And do you know what? That is killing Ghana. That is what is killing the youth now. I'm telling you, that is why it's killing the youth now. We, 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 we grow before our time. I'm telling you the truth. We grow before our time. So Ghana, when you are coming up, people, you know, you will get some people to who are not spirit directed to like to like if, if I'm going faster before my time. But also for must be able to call me and tell me that Apostle, you know what? I think this thing when you do it this way, when you when you slow down a bit, it will help you. But when also for to see that I am going here, get, 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 I'm doing like this now, you, you, you two is happy. Go, 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 yeah. Also, go, go, go. By the time you, you remember, the repent will tend to downpent. Uh, once we read T.D. Jay's book, he said, like a staircase, you need to enjoy every step. But when you jump the staircase, you miss so much that you didn't enjoy. While you are at the top, you, you, you found out that you are, you, you are willing rather mm. to go back. Just like somebody on a death, he has only death bed or sick bed, he has only one wish. Mm. But one who is healthy has so many. That's right. So we need to take a step, enjoy every part of the pain. That's right. The joy. The happy. You need to enjoy it. You need to live every That's life. Right. Go through it, the pain, the regret. And then all have the lesson. Every mm. aspect of our life. And the failure, mm. the success, the joy. Every aspect of our life has something god god in his own wisdom has put all these things together the regret makes you learn the okay. failure put you on the path but the, there's the path of success the failure every aspect of our life has been designed by god and he, he, god has no regret no because no, no, no. if 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 adam had not fallen in the in the in the garden of eden do you think that there will be the need for the second adam to come no who is no, christ no. jesus Every aspect, even when they were killing the lamp and they were using the blood on the door, they never knew that there was a son that is about to be slain for us to enjoy, yeah. which in Revelation is stated, by the blood of him we are redeemed. Yeah. They didn't know, but God was, everything that is about to be for, God gives us something, something. When Isaac was taken, when Abraham took Isaac there and said that, this is your son, your only begotten son, slay him, use him as a son. He was just telling Abraham what is about to happen. Everything that happens right. in our life, God has no regret. That's Trust right. me. The pain, the anguish, you lost a friend, you lost. Mm. God is shaping you. God is bringing all together. Right. And it's all things, the Bible said in Romans, it says, all things work together for good. For they that love God and are called according to, for just obeying to, to, to use the son as a sacrifice. God said, Abraham, because you have obeyed me, because of that, he said that this one has been turned as righteousness unto you. Amen. He didn't do anything. No, but no, just no. listen to the voice and say, Papa, you said it, so I'm taking my son. He said, this obedience. is righteousness. Obedience. The obedience has been transferred as righteousness mm -hmm. unto you. Mm -hmm. That is it. Obedience. So he says, God is so wisdom. Anything that is happening around us, the cries, our tears, our regrets, sometimes we become despair. God is with us. He Amen. knows what he's doing. All things work together for our good or something. Oh, Even right. today, everything mm -hmm. that has happened, and God, I, I, he said, he's the same God. The same he's God. the same God. The same he God. sat down, they slain his son. And when your daddy or your mommy passed on, you are crying. You think God has, you say God has re rejected me. He has never. There is no death. We are trying, we, we, we are trying, uh, how do we say, transition. There is a transition yes, to the outer world. You are more than this flesh and blood. You are more than. You are more than because you have three components. Soul, spirit, and body. You are more than. You are just being in a transition. You know, God has no regret for that. It's only that you have been transitioning. It is difficult for this king and this thing to, even when you are fasting, look at what to go through. You think, is it God? Is it Jesus? No wonder Jesus said, He said, My God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? As written in the book of Psalms. But God has not forsaken That's us. Right. He's watching over his word to perform. To perform. He's just God. watching over his word to perform. My God. We are gathered here today. How few are us?
but you will see how mighty will become mm. and how many more will become Amen. god is just watching to perform yes. in the beginning as abraham obeyed mm. the same obedience was of christ that's right so anybody of christ obey that's right so when we fail we wake we wake up when mm. we sin we go to christ we mention him. We let the devil know that devil, you can throw all your asses. Right. You can do everything that you know. But he has said, what? You see, we've been written in the books. Mm. Ah, Jesus. You see, when he entered into the synagogue, he took the scroll and That's went right. straight into Isaiah. He mm. said, today, these scriptures have been fulfilled. Okay. There's something oh, that is written about, about us. It will be fulfilled. That is Amen. why we will not die. Amen. 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 Psalm 118 verse 17. You shall not die. You shall not die. We will live to give glory to God. Amen. 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 We shall not die. Oh. I said, no, no, no. We shall not die. Mm. No, no, no. It's not our portion. No. <laughs> Look, when we die before our time, we fail our generation. Mm? We fail our generation. We will not die before our time. Amen. No, and in fact, I'm declaring this. You will not die when Amen. your testimony is about manifesting. Amen. No, 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 no. When you won't die when your miracle is about happening. Amen. No, you will not die. No, 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 no. Amen. You will not die. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's, I'm, going to, I'm saying this lastly and we're going to pray silently. We are going to put something before the Lord. It's like 12 years, but I believe 12 is government. I Amen. believe that God can do something. Amen. God can shake more something. Than, more than we think. Yes, more than we think or ask. Hallelujah. Amen. He said that, but let him, verse 5 said that, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask. Amen. And we know Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Ask and it shall be given. No. And James is telling us that, no, that scripture, no. When, it, when you ask, it's not just ask and it shall be given. James is telling us something here. He's not, he's, not, he's not saying that what Matthew said is not is, it wasn't true. He's saying that, yes, ask, it shall be given. But let me tell you, when you ask, it will not be given when you doubt. After ask, asking. For the asking, it shall be given. That is true. Nothing will change that. Ask, it shall be given. But he said, listen, let him ask of God, not of man, but you and I. Who do we ask first? When you need money, who do you ask first? When you need something, who do you, let's be honest, who do you ask first? Me, I will just go through my contact first. Before I go to the Lord, I go to my contact. Look at it. Before we go to the Lord, we go to our contact. Now, when you go through the contact, and you find out that you need like $5,000, but nobody can give you even $1,000. Then you start mentioning God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. God why? Then, then you say that God, why? You say that God. Then last, last you say that God help me. <laughs> that is after you've gone through the contact. Oh. Say, it is good that I was disappointed. <laughs> and God is <laughs> saying, Oh, you, you. Oh, come back. You, you, you. Uh, uh, yes, yes. You will surely go to the Lord. You see, sometimes you say that when you lack wisdom, do you know some of some, some people even they lack wisdom, they go to man. When they need wisdom about something, they go to man. They will tell you and they will go to the man and say that how can you give me wisdom on this thing? Wisdom on this thing. But we've not even asked the Lord for that wisdom on so, how do I use this phone? How do I go about this? How do this decision? How do I go? About? Can you ask the Lord? But we go to man before. He said that if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give that to all men liberally. And I break and that's how I don't want to say U B B R A I D E T. I break it. I it. Not. I break it. I break it. reproach, you know, you know, like God, when God won't take it, he doesn't change his mind. Hallelujah. He doesn't change his mind. He doesn't have any like like questions to ask. No, he gives it to you. And he said that, he said that, and it shall be given unto you. So first, ask the Lord. A lot of will be filled because we didn't ask the Lord. We were disappointed because we didn't ask the Lord. Do you know that sometimes, yes, Pastor Sami may have it. Asafu may have it. But do you know that sometimes God doesn't want you to go to Him? Listen all. Sometimes God doesn't want you to go to Him. Maybe He may have the money, but God doesn't want you to go to Him. So God wants you to go to Abana. God will not come like this now. He come now. Uh, I am God. Take it. I am God. Take it. No, you use Pastor Sammy. Yeah. 
Yes. He will use somebody. But sometimes we choose the people who want, that we want them to help us. We choose them, but God has not chosen them. So you go and talk. Can you give me the them? And you feel very disappointed. And God wants you to, because this one, has, maybe God has blessed him with some 20,000 and he needs somebody to even give 1,000 to. Now you, you don't know. You, you don't know. And you choose the people because you look at physical appearance. God said to uh, Samuel, because Samuel said, so, he says, Samuel, look not on his countenance. Let us look at his heart. For I have already rejected him. Because he knew that somewhere as he goes, he's going to look at the man, uh -huh. his height. I say, oh, Allah, oh, wow, awesome. Uh -huh. I say, oh, he's going, he's going to look at uh, his, 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 you know, his calmness, his figure, That's right. his leadership. Oh, will you, uh, this man, if he should lead the people, uh -huh. he said, do not look at his physical continent. I, the Lord, have rejected him already. <laughs> See when he went to the house of Jesse, when mm -hmm. he sent for all that came, he was looking for. He didn't say it. Mm -hmm. He said, ah, ah, because I came with a message and a prophet. This is ah, are they all these your children? Mm -hmm. He said, Yes, these are all my children. Then he was beginning to commune with God. Yes, I'm sir. sure the prophet, as you know, Samuel was confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was confused yes, because he had checked all the children. But then he cannot find the one. The one that was given because he, the one that was rejected, he had no his height, so he's coming to use that same article here that ah, you'll be like this. Mm -hmm. He said, No, then he asked Jesse, Please, uh, 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 is that all your children? Jesse said, Yes, because there is one that was born with another woman, he's in the bush with his harp. That's right. He said, Are you sure? Then he said, Okay, nah, there's one left, he's in the wilderness with the, my, my shepherd. He said, Send for him now. The man was coming. Then the spirit of the Lord appeared, came upon him again. He said, Do not look at his appearance. His appearance. Do not look at him, for he is the chosen one. That's what I mean. He said, That same God, That's that God. same God who rejected that man that you think is tall. That mm -hmm. is, he has seen another another coming, but he knew the man of, he has seen, the, he knows the mind of a man. Yes. He said that, Ah, you say that this is wretched. Mm -hmm. And look at this guy with his heart, with his uh, 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 sling by his side. We look at him. He, Oh, but he said, do not look at his appearance. I have chosen him. This is the... And he, he, and he became... I'm sure someone was confused. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. How could you reject that one? Look at his height. Look at his... And if the description that is in First Samuel chapter 1, you look at the description of Saul, mm. then you know that he's a leader truly. That's right. But because he failed, the Lord said, you, have, you see, when we, when we will mess up with... We are giving opportunity to God. He said, for I will use the foolishness of this world yes, to confine the wisdom of the wise. Right. Parliament. The judiciary. God is going to pick people, children, babies, and put words in their mouth. And when they speak, they, you, they speak Sigma English. Yes, those who speak the big ones cannot match up to. He said, oh, the guys who say, we want this one. And people are like, who oh, academia and say, ah, but can't you hear this English? Can't you know? Don't you know you have PhD? They are professors say no, we want this one. That's right. Oh, because the Lord Himself has chosen. That's right. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. They will come with simplicity. They will come, they look even uh, unprepared. They come as they are, rough, like rough diamonds. But if you know how precious it is, you know this is it. Amen. And the Lord will give us that. Mm. We will know our destiny. Amen. Us. One Amen. of my prayers that I love all so much is that I say, Lord, when they come, when my destiny are uh, this thing yeah. has come. Let me know them. Let me know them. When they come, let them show the signs. Mm. And you will see. Amen. These are men when they say, I've rejected, they say, I'm not going because I'm with you. They look at you and laugh. They say, Have you been to church? Yes, he himself is not a Christian. Mm. They look at you and say, hey, He say, Have you been to church today? He understand because the Lord sent us them to us. So we will love by their nature. They are very accommodating. And they will love the Lord because we love the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll put your hands together once again. Amen. But let, he said, but let him ask in faith. You will ask God to give. Both of them. Let him ask in faith. Amen. I said, ask in faith too. It shall be done unto you. Amen. Let him ask in faith. Nothing will be. For he that waved is like a wave of the sea, mm. driven by the wind mm. and tossed. Mm. And tossed. Very deep one. You, you are not stable. It's like a dead fish. That's Wherever the water goes, that's right. You are the fish that is alive. You lie back. That's you right. Follow the no, 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 no. 
you 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 are tossed. You know that's why people can control you like that. Yeah. Sometimes you don't have to work for you to just believe. But because you don't believe, and you you believe, you think you believe. You are like the man who brought the son to Jesus. He said, I believe, but help my own belief. <laughs> That's a mighty one. I believe, but help my own belief. Yes, if I fall short somewhere, help me, Lord. Yes, yes, because sometimes, you know, some, do you know what, what makes up? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. The Spirit of the Lord just ministered to me. And do you know why we, we river sometimes? First of all, the reason why we river sometimes is the heart. The heart. The heart is the heart. It condemns us. First John chapter number 3, verse 19. He said that if your heart condemns you, you will receive nothing from the Lord. You've watched so many negative things. You've listened to that's so right. Many so many negative so, so, many so when you are going to the Lord, your heart is telling you. Uh, the, the physician said this. That this one yeah, yes, so they'll, they'll take you back. Your mind <laughs> you, and your, your mind is condemning you. Your mind will be condemning you. When your mind condemns you, you will not receive anything from God. When your mind condemns you, you don't have confidence before the Lord. So anybody who doesn't have confidence before the Lord, don't look at something the person has not done it's not because today the person you to church, the person feel like the person is not having any confidence in the Lord. Don't think that the person did something in the morning. No. Sometimes two years ago, one year ago, what the person did, the heart has brought it back to the memory. And he cannot overcome it. Yes, and he can overcome it. In the Bible, if you do, if, if you are not able to overcome it, but you know how you overcome. You overcome by knowing that God. Listen, let me read that scripture. Let me give you that scripture, quick one, class. Let me give you that scripture, quick one. Then let let us pray some five minutes and out of here. Look at it. Verse nineteen. First John chapter three, verse nineteen. And hereby we know that we are of the truth, and shall assure our hearts before Him. So I always say that. The truth here is not a word, just a word, but the truth here is a person. That is why he said that we shall we shall know that we are of the truth. The Jesus said that I am the way. I am the way. The truth. So the truth here is Jesus. So that we shall assure our heart before him. Him, the truth here. And he said in verse 20, for if our heart condemns us, for if our heart condemns us, God is greater than our heart and knoweth all things. So the only way to overcome the condemnation of the heart is knowing, knowing, knowledge by knowledge, by knowledge, that knowing that God is what greater than your heart and know all things. God knew that you fell, you fall. Yeah. God knew it that you fall. Let it come to your mind that yes, God knew that I'll fall. Amen. And no one thing that God is greater. Don't just say He who is in me is greater than He who is in the world, and, and still let your heart condemn you. When your heart comes, that mention it. He who is great, who is in me, is greater than He who is in the world. So we would have brought that son issue. That's right. When he went away and squandered the money, he knew he had failed. Mm. But then he came to his senses. Say he came to his senses, meaning that his heart was reasoning within him. That's right. That man, that man, the inner man came to him. He mm. said that none of the slaves of my fathers eat even the swine food. That's right. But if I go, his man never took, came back and said that you you have taken already taken your no, 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 So if you go inside, they will throw you out. No. If his man has come with that condemnation, trust me, that the man or the guy wouldn't have gone back. But his heart never condemned. He said, No, none of the servants of my father even eat this. That's right. So I am going back. His man never told him that you have taken yours already, so don't go. It's only in the you see, many times Jesus said, not one, not twice, even the the Lucan version says that never have one found such a faith in Israel. That's right. You see, sometimes you go to the beer bars and they are playing gospel. You ask yourself, like what you say, what are you playing this year? Why? But let me tell you, their faith there is greater. That's right. You see, oh yes, oh yes, they can comfort us. When the Christian break down, it will shock you. I remember when my, one of my bosses has collapsed after eating some food, just simple food. And then one guy who we know him to be drunk was praying for him to receive his... Ah, right. oh, Razak. And Razak was praying. Razak himself is a father, is a Muslim. He said, does he go? But he was praying in the name of Jesus. Wake up. And we were like, ah, Razak. That's right. Razak is a bumper. 
But that is how you are trying to come. Mm. If we mm. lose faith, God will put it in the That's people, right. those outside to perform that thing. That's right. There's always two things. We and then what we are performing. If I uh, also brought this issue about the Peter yeah. and then the cripple. If you watch that critical scripture very well, he said that and the cripple fixated That's right. on Peter as receiving something. That's right. He fixated his eye on Peter as receiving something, something. either wealth or whatever it is, he was demanding something. Mm. And then Peter seeing that he has fixated that he needs something, saying, Well, look, silver and gold have I had, but such as I have, I give to you, so that you will not become a beggar again. Mm. If I give you silver, it will last. If I give you gold, you will come <coughs> back as well. I said, I what 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 happened, but now I give such as I have. That is the grace. Amen. He started limping and walking. So anytime we have two scenarios, you and then the issue. The issue, does he have a faith? Jesus went to Ezekiel Capellos that he couldn't do mighty work there. Yes. And then he said that it was there. They didn't have faith. faith. That's right. So there are two things. Down. Your faith and their faith. Your faith and the six uh, person's faith. faith. What is he expecting to be? There are people that you can go to Kalibu, pray for them. They will not be called and say they are they enjoy doctor. Please tell me, doctor. There's I want the light soup, they want it. They enjoy that portion. They are not ready to receive the glorious one. They want to. It's just like the manner. It's any time they come, somebody pushes me. You understand me? And for 38 years, Jesus said that the angel has always been stirring this water. That's and you are just a, a stone throw. You can't jump into it. Mm. You understand? So your determination. He said a woman with the issue of blood. They were multitude. But he was fixated at taking some drugs. So when the people that we talk to, that is why you bring us always the word, the mm. fresh bread from That's the right. oven, from the presence of the Lord. Right. When you give us, and our soul is demanding, or so when I tell you, when we pray, we we'll receive it. Amen. We will pray and miss. Amen. When the Amen. word that the Lord has given to you is direct and very, very focused on it, I mean, you will not ask me. If you ask me now, I know what I want. That's right. Yeah. There are people you ask them that, um, my brother, what do you want for this Christmas? And you, uh, uh, I need a bicycle. I need. These are the people who pray and miss because he doesn't have a vision. He doesn't know where he's going. So if you give him ten million, go back and see him again. You squander. You mess it up. But the man with the vision, he knows that I'm building. I'm buying this real estate. I'm buying this farm. And this is how it's going to be like. This is what I'm going to do. But the one who doesn't have a brace and miss because he came here, we are praying that Lord bless me with financial gain. But when you have the financial gain, what would you use it for? Amen. I want a wife. When you get a wife, how would you treat him? Are you prepared? Do you have a mind where we're going to live? How are we going to? You must first have a vision. You must first know where we're going so that you will not pray and miss. They are asking for money. So I pray, God, give me money. Money for what? He can give you abundantly, but money can kill you. Whatever blesses you can also destroy you. That's right. Exactly. So you must have an insight. What do you want it for? When also will give us the word, we must stand on this word to tell the Lord that Lord, you know, have from my infancy, I have demanded to see a new car. I have demanded to force me to, you know, Lord, I want this one. So when the thing comes, the Lord knows where you are going. But when it comes, people, there are people who, when it comes tonight, I'm telling you, you're going to have trouble. That's right. They're going to have You just look at kings, uh, Solomon. He said, bless me with wisdom and understanding to mm-hmm. lead these people. The Lord said, Solomon, because of what you've done, I'm not going to give you wisdom and understanding, but I'm also going to bless you with wealth. That's right. Because you know how to spend all that your father gave to you. You built a temple with the gold, with the silver, and everything. He used the artisans, everything. That's so right. God knows that if I give him, he's not going to destroy him. However, his end was what same thing that destroyed him. You understand me? Amen. So we need to have that focus. Mm. That this is what I want for him. We need to be fixated on the word. This is what I want. Lord, oh God, mm. I want an uh, expansion in my business. That's I right. want it. So when it comes, God knows where you are going. Amen. Put your hands together. Amen. 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 So that is so let's John chapter 3, verse 20, 21, 22. For if our heart condemns us, my God. Do you know, and this scripture, when you look at this scripture very well, you see something in the book of Romans. Let, let, let me hit on that and come back to this one again. So when you read the book of uh, Romans chapter number 8, Romans chapter 8 verse 1, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Amen. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Amen. For there is no condemnation. Listen, listen to me. God will not
not save you to condemn you. No. God will not save you and come back to you and come and say that I am condemning you. You know, that's why I say that. You know, the people preach and we are in the church we are talking about uh, the judgment day and Christians are, shh, they, they, they are moved there. Look, look at it. Your father is coming home so wow. Well. You know, it's God coming to judge you after after Christ, receiving Christ and, and saying that you have eternal life, you will not perish and God will come to you and say that, you and they said they will show some video I've never seen it in the scripture before you should have some video and say that, you will look at it you will go to heaven or hell, look at it that is, that is you, know, you know so God is not, he said that for there is no condemnation, God will not come to condemn you, but what but still we are condemned, you know why, listen to me the Bible said that who walk not according to or after the flesh, but after the spirit? So when you walk according to the spirit, there is nothing like condemnation. But when you walk according to the flesh, you do things of the flesh. Your heart is the flesh to condemn the you. The Holy Spirit to condemn. That's all. You see, you give the spirit immediately. You give the Holy Spirit. You give the heart a chance to condemn you. The heart is of the flesh. The flesh, the soul is between. So you feel like, oh, 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 my soul. Why are you downcasted in me? Like David said. Amen. Because you give that spirit. So for those who are in Christ, we, we, there is no God will not condemn you. God is not having time to condemn his people. God is having time to reconcile people. He, called, he, he brought the ministry of reconciliation, not the ministry of recondemnation. Amen. Amen. Now when we go back to the first, he said that for if our heart condemns us, God, I want to name it then, God is greater than our heart. God, listen, the heart represents the man. So if even a suffer condemns me, God is greater than a suffer. Who are you to condemn me? Mm -hmm. If you condemn me, I know of one thing. God is greater than my heart. God is greater than you. Yes. Who gave you that right? Look at it. Look at it. You who is ready to condemn me, God has given me more power than you. He said that any tongue that rises up against me, I shall condemn. Try me. I will condemn you. I will put you in, in, in condemn. Prisons. Condemn. Condemn cells. I will put you there by my words. He said that you shall condemn. I said that, that whenever you keep quiet, you are you are giving the enemy permission to afflict you the more. When you go silence, I will not talk. Me the men pekas up. Me the men cash I will not say anything. Hey, not in my world. Me, I will, I will condemn you. I will never. Me, my favorite scripture, you know already. So far, not for the wish to live. My favorite scripture. So far, not for the wish to live. Beloved, if our heart condemns us. Not if our heart condemns us not, then we have confidence towards God. So some people are saying it. If our heart condemns us not, then we have confidence towards God. So the only time a man can have confidence towards God and say that whatever I ask from the Lord, I will receive, is when the man is able to overcome the touch of the heart. When you overcome the thoughts of the heart, when your heart speaks to you, you speak back to the heart. You must have keep quiet about the cow eating. Three months ago, you know. Yeah. Yeah, the Ananiasa. Keep quiet. Keep quiet this one. Three more day. I was telling you, three more day. You tell the heart that three more day. Yeah, the. Because the heart will never, you know, early in the morning, Sunday morning, or Saturday before you go to work, your heart will come to you, walk straight to you, and say, that, hey, you, hey, you, look at what you were waiting on your phone. You are taking to the road to sing. Amen. You are going to sing at church. You look at your face. And that will be is hurting you. And you tell your heart that keep quiet. Fame more thing. Fame more thing. Fame more thing. You speak to listen, learn these things. Oh, I'm sure I'm teaching you something. Learn these things how to communicate. Somebody asked me that so when I went to Google, he said, I was so I was like, when they, they, all the people will come and minister, they will like they will sing it, but when immediately you handle the microphone, everything changes. And I said, I, I've learned how to create my my, 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 my my atmosphere, I've learned how to create the presence. He said, How do you create it? I said, I create it in the room. I create it, it's manufactured. I manufacture it in the room before I bring it. I said, when I come now, when I come now, I know how. 
to zoom into the spirit, come out, zoom in, go into the I, I, I've trained myself. I, it's not in any book. Go and buy any book, you'll not find it. Go to the Lord, let the Lord teach you. Let the Lord have time, have time with the Spirit of God. Let, let Him teach you. I take people about the prophetic. I take to the, to the school of the prophetic. But but I can't really show them how I enter into the Spirit. I was teaching a man of God. I I taught him, he was hearing, like, but he said that about that thing that you say that we've entered into the spirit. I don't know. <laughs> that thing, how, how, where is the door? <laughs> I don't know how the door that we used to enter there. And I said that, me, I, I, I do that. And I enter, I said that, bang it, ever. <laughs> no, listen to me. Collect and learn. That is it. That is it. And then John immediately he said, I now was in the spirit, revelation. But also for right now, you need time. I'm telling you, you are pretty me. I didn't I, I didn't prepare a message. This is my Bible. I didn't prepare any message. <laughs> but somebody is busy last night at the internet or per message. I'm a preacher actually that member. No, it is happening, I'm telling you the truth. People are preaching 1984 message any other day. But you don't have time. That when you start, when you have time with the Lord, then God will give you the message for the people. Amen. I'm telling you, God will give you that. I came with just one scripture. God gave me a scripture, just one scripture. He, he took me deeper a bit, and all these scriptures are coming out. Amen. It's not beloved. If our heart condemns us not, then so the only time does it then we have confidence over God. So the only time you have confidence is when your heart condemns you not. Look at it. When our heart condemns us not, then we have confidence. So when our heart condemns us, we don't have confidence. So that's why when sometimes you want to pray, you want to ask God for something, then you have, uh, Jesus, and then always now, now you change all the one-on-one talk to tongues. So you need a cow, but you say that God, I need a cow. You can't say the cow. Because your mind, your heart, it's telling you that no, you can never receive it. You went to sin and you are coming to stand here to receive what a car. I tell you, you, you see, this is our example. It happens to us, but we're not paying attention to the truth. It happens to us every day. You are praying now, they lift up prayer now. No, no, first, when you are praying every day, when you come now, you want to pass through this side and you are here. You know, your heart condemns you when you come now, you are at the back. <sighs> and the way your heart can cause you to, to yawn. Eh? I'm telling you about sin. Oh, when you go into it, the way your heart becomes heavy. You know that's the time. Oh, your heart becomes heavy. Like wakuma ashe etuani, wakuma yedu tu tu. Then you know that. I don't know if all the answers are there. But me, when when I do such things, like my heart, I feel like me person me ram na me yet okay. You want to yawn, but oh yes, ah, and the heart is so stubborn. You want to yawn, you do. Like that and not to work out. You know, it's a story about <laughs> this life <laughs> detecting. Life detecting. It takes a professional thief to go through a lie detecting um, test and not before. It will take a professional thief because your hormones, your veins, anything that is not natural to you. For example, they ask you who took the toffee. You know you are the one who took it. That moment, your your the, I don't know, but your what veins, reaction? your veins, everything kicks negatively. <laughs> So the machine will detect that your veins. But if it is not you, you don't even care. Yeah. I, didn't, I, didn't, I have not seen it. I didn't take it. Mm. Your veins will not. But when it is you, That's right. natural of every human being, mm. your veins will, because it's you who took it. <laughs> so yeah, your, your hormones, everything, the fiber of you will stand like you want to defend. That's where the machine will detect that you are the one. So it takes only a professional thief to go through a lie detecting. That. So when we see it is of natural of us. Yeah. Like David came before, he say, he say, you see, just mm-hmm. as I am, I, I was conceived in sin. That's and right. see my, you see, just to say something, yeah, something yeah. just to, you know, because it's, it, your heart is condemning. That's you. right. Everything. So we go to, to God and not be. It it be you get there, the man of God is preaching now. Uh, ah, I also for who be there now. Now time is to go at least to repentance. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And it is true, you know. God is so wonderful. You know, God loves us. I'm telling you. God loves us so much. He loves us so much. You know, sometimes now you me, me I know I've learned some things. You know, this thing they took up. Do you know? Let me tell you something. This is not what I want to teach you, but let me tell you. 
Do you know that when you say, when you do those things, it takes 21 days before you become released? Mm. Yeah, it takes three weeks, 21 days before you become released. So when you do this same thing and you feel down and less than 21 days, you do it again, you do it again. You see that it will become like a have you. That is who you are. Sometimes we've not really changed though. Sometimes we are saved, but we are not really changed. The salvation, the true Christ, they believe in, we are, but the changing, the master, sometimes the, yes. the, the repentance, you know, it is just that repenting that I cannot save myself, Christ can save me. That, that repentance, you know, so that one gives you the salvation. But the repentance as in, I am fornicating, I will not fornicate again, you know, Charlie. Charlie, that one, it, it's about dealing with the flesh. It's not about worse. You know. It's not about words that like me I'm not fornicate again. It will take like one year, years no fornication, two years no fornication, and somebody will tell you, me I was not doing it too. The day that some um, I went to meet some man penna, I can't stop. Oh, wow. Deal with the flesh. It is it is it is I've been teaching you about this baby ten, how to walk, crawl, and you know, holding things and that is Christianity. It's, it's like in the boxing ring, you know. You said that you you went the flesh and the spirit in the boxing ring. The flesh will ah, put you that ah, and the flesh will put you bad this much. You are down there now. And you have to stand up again. You have to stand up again. You have to stand up again. Listen to me. Maybe you are the one that have, this message is for. Maybe to, for the whole year. In fact, what we said I'm going to have a couple. So I began saying that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In other words, I will lack nothing. Are you back from school? Because school, everything was okay. Like, like you didn't lack anything. You didn't lack anything at school. Everything that you, you need and you got it. Then the Lord is your shepherd, I'm fine. <laughs> the Lord is your shepherd, I'm fine. Because some people are there. The Lord is your shepherd. In fact, their pastor, their, their, their fathers are men of God. But still, they want. And I want the Lord is your shepherd and father. I'm telling you, I have to, I have to turn off. I have to so see them tap into your, 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 the Lord is my shepherd. Now, maybe they are here. I'm wanting. <laughs> Hallelujah! Look at it. He said that. Oh my goodness! Oh, mercy, Lord. He said that. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of Him. No, let me add the 21, 22. He said that, beloved, if our heart condemns us not. Then we have confidence towards God. And whatsoever we ask, we receive. And whatsoever we ask of Him, is that? And whatsoever we ask, we receive of Him because, look at it now, listen, because we keep His commandment and do those things that are pleasing in His sight. We do His commandment, we do His commandment, and yet thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not this, thou shalt not this. I'm not talking about the thou, thou. I'm talking about, I have two commandments. I, 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 I'm, I, a book that I write, the commandment of love. The two commandments. The commandment of love. Amen. The two commandments. The commandment of love. love. And he said that, and this is his commandment, that we shall believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he gave us commandment. And he that keepeth his commandment dwell in him, and he in him, and hereby we know that he abide in us by the spirit which he had given us. Amen. 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 We ask and we receive because we keep his commandments. Do you know the reason why your heart is condemning you? Is because you don't keep the commandment of love. You don't keep the commandment of love. What, what am I saying here? Now listen. Thou shalt not, thou shalt not, thou shalt not, thou shalt not the ten. He has placed and all the other commandments that you know. He has placed all in the in the two commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, your mind, your soul. Now, and he said that love your neighbor as yourself. You know what made your heart condemn you? Because maybe at some point you didn't love your neighbor as yourself. Something belonged to us. You didn't love us as yourself. You took what belongs to us. It means that you have not obeyed. The commandment of love. You didn't show love to yourself. So right there, your heart get the chance to condemn you. I don't know if you are getting it. Yeah. Right there, because you disobeyed the commandment, your your heart get the chance. 
That is why I'm saying that that repentance of saying that I believe in Jesus there. You've done it too. But that repentance of the love for your brother, it takes time. But you know this. Let me say this last thing. Do you know that also for, there are people in the world right now, what we call sin. It's been a long time they taste. They tasted sin. As in, you sinning and that you doing something and your heart, your mind will tell you that you have sinned. It's been a long time. Not that they don't do it. They train themselves to some point. Some level. It's about training. Christianity is about training. How, how do we train? It's about that connection with the Spirit of God. That connection with the Spirit of God. How well are you connected with God? How well are you connected with the Spirit? Do you know that we are connected to our wives more than God? We are connected to our husbands more than God. We are connected to our boyfriends, girlfriends more than God. And we are connected to our phones more than God. This morning, you didn't check even your Bible. You check your WhatsApp message. Pip, pip. Let, me, let me be fast before I, I go and Bible. Let me be fast. But you were not too fast to check the Bible. The verse for the day. You didn't check it. What was your scripture for this morning? You missed me a lot, so you wanted to come and see me and take selfie with me. You are building more connection with me than God. Amen. And this is what we are doing. You know. I'm telling you, man. You know, me, me, I tell the truth. You know, I don't, and you know me, I don't hide anything from you. I tell you the big things that we are doing. Those behind the puppets, they are doing that you don't know. Many people have lost connection with the Spirit. The, the move of, of God in the church now. We are bringing the revival back. Amen. I mean, we are bringing back the revival. Hallelujah. Amen. 2022, our year of power and glory. Everybody here, you manifest the power of God. And you can do that only through faith. And when you doubt not, God will give you what you ask for. I don't know what you are believing God for. In this 12 days, I believe God will be or be any bearing say me my faith in God is almost mad. I have faith in God. So I don't worry about things. I know that no matter what, if it is the will of God, then it is the bill of God. So if it is his will, then you take the bill. So I don't worry in life. I don't worry. I want you to close your eyes. I told you that today we are not going to shout, we're going to just pray a silent prayer. To God and we are telling God. Uh, but this is what I want. He said, like, if any of you need wisdom, let him ask of the Lord. Somebody first deal with your heart. Check your heart. If there is something condemning you, tell God to have mercy. Just tell God to have mercy. Just tell God to have mercy. May God heal your heart from past wounds. <clears throat> In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Anything that troubles your soul, anything that worries your heart, may God deal with that thing and may God have mercy on you. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Anything that we did, anything that we said, anything, any thoughts that we have that didn't please the Lord. Liko Vahakosas, Belimanoski Nimi Brasunte Kadushas. Faluai tagilo bosa, tan labadosas. Oh, maduni mi ipalabadosas. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, our Father. Somebody now, you are placing your request before the Lord. I want you to tell God something. I want you to tell God something. I want you to tell God something. I know that if you were to go on Jumia and other 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 other, other platforms to to order for things. We know that in six days they can bring it. In three days they can bring it. Sometimes that same day you, you receive your package. Yes, yes. If you trust those people and you give them your money, trust the Lord and give God your faith. If you trust those people and you give them your money, trust the Lord and give God your faith. 
Buy something with your faith today in the name of Jesus. Just tell God something that God is what I need in this world. I want to do it. In the book of Luke, he said that if you, men of evil heart, knows how to give good things to your children, that when they ask you uh, uh, of fish, you not give them snake. When they ask you of bread, you not give them stones. Palawai talima do zenke ne madoza raba bado shayatas e mantene ne krubandi bado se in the mighty name of Jesus Christ oh Jesus liba do shada bayata e mantene ne ramba da bosha in name of no zantele de de bosha in this twelve days oh makula bada yata let a unique miracle happen in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we pray for unique miracles ma. Uncommon miracles by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Abba Father. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. I believe in God. I know you believe in God. He can do it far more than you think. He can do it far more than you think. He can do it far more than you think. He can do it far more than you think. He can do it far more than you think. He can do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask, above all that we think about, above all, above all, above all. Leave one Tony Mahazu Tayatas in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless your holy name. We give you glory. I know that we are coming here on the 26th with a testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our last Sunday service will be a Sunday of many testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus. You have promised us and you will never fail us. You have promised us and you will never fail us. We give you glory. We give you honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Amen. I want you to take your offering and bless it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Come and put in your offering. Let's take our mask. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, amen. Amen. Oh, amen. amen. Yes. A short announcement, amen. That is going to be very quick. We are meeting to our last Sunday service and last week. And fit. Fifth January to 13th of February, we are having our 40 days fasting. Amen. Just 40 days. 40 days. Amen. Amen. So we start from the 5th of January, then we end on the 13th. 14th, as people call Vast Day, we're going to have chill and chill. Amen. Yeah. Chill and chill. And <clears throat> we're going to have a glorious service. It's going to be about relationship marriage. And that will be the Sunday to that will be. It's a Sunday, right? It's a Monday. Monday. It's a Monday. It's a Monday. So we will come and break our fast. And everything on the Sunday, then uh, the, the Monday you, you chill and chill. Amen. Amen. And also, we see, so we have a, a, other men of God who will come and talk to us about marriage. And you know, the romantic apostles will also be talking about yes. something romantic. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Yes. <laughs> Amen. So you learn more about love, marriages, and relationships, and other stuff. Amen. And 31st night, we are meeting here. Amen. Come early so that we close early because 31st night, that same night is my birthday. Uh, 1st January is my birthday. So uh, when we come now, 
the part part 0 0.001 of my birthday celebration will happen in the night. <laughs> Amen. Then in the morning, I have uh, in the morning I think I have some uh but I could be somewhere. Yeah. That one there. So yeah. I'll go and celebrate that one. Yeah. That one too the Saturday. I'll go and celebrate that one. Then Sunday, that is second, the church will celebrate our birthday. Amen. Amen. So my birthday will be in three celebrations. Yeah. The 0 0.001 here in the night. Amen. Amen. Please, no water. Tell those who didn't come to church. Most of them put it in there. Tell them, no water. Me, I, I'm preaching as a birthday. Pour you pour water, we know. Please. <laughs> Let me warn you before you come and try that. Amen. Don't do that to your apostle. Amen. Mm -hmm. I don't like water. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Somebody is saying the man, so man, I'm going to air conditioner now. <laughs> Amen. So, you like powder. <laughs> so, we, we are meeting here on the 31st now. It's going to be a glorious service. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's going to be a glorious service. Amen. Amen. We are going to have nights of many healing. Amen. Amen. You're not entering into 2022 with sickness, no pain. Amen. Amen. Yes, you, if people will give 31st night prophecies, you will give 31st night healing. Amen. 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 Yes, we will surely prophesy on the first night. We will tell people about what, what is going to happen in the, in the coming year. And we will tell the world, the world what is going to happen in the coming year. That one needs to be for us. Amen. Amen. But I know that God is going to speak in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 So that is an announcement. Uh, Sunday, well, let me encourage everybody else. Heavenly Father, we thank you this day. We are so grateful in the day of the Lord. We thank you for the resurrection power. We thank you, Lord, O oh God, that even as we are gathered here in your name, we pray that, Lord, today we've heard your word. Let that same faith, that same God, refresh our heart and our minds. Even if our hearts should condemn us, may we know that surely, Lord, you are greater than our hearts. We pray that, Lord, you are the epitome of wisdom. You give it to all liberal. So as the book of James said, we should ask of you. Today we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord our oh God, bless us. Yahweh Elohim. By the name of your only begotten son, bless us with the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of knowledge and the spirit of understanding. Bless us, O oh Lord. Even as, O oh Lord, O oh God, we have come into your presence. We pray that you bless us. Same, we lift our offering before you, the Lord, O oh God, sanctified by the blood of covenant of Jesus Christ. And Lord, O oh God, may it be fruitful for the works of the gospel. And Lord, we pray that, Lord, O oh God, as our heart, we have desired of this one good thing, we have prayed unto you, let it come to pass, that all, Lord, O oh God, shall come to pass. All shall be fulfilled according to our desire and our prayers before you today. We thank you. We bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Uh, amen. Before before we we share our benediction, you know, here we have our own benediction before we share it. Uh, surely, surely, goodness and mercy. Amen. Uh, I want I want us to put our hands together for uh, uh, my lady pastor, <laughs> the prophetess uh, Abigail uh, Randolph. But I don't know the gentleman, but God bless you. Thank you for coming. So uh, she is the she's the lead. I don't know what to put there, but she is the founder of Grace Land Spirit Life Ministry International. Amen. She said, "Man of God, I want to come and visit you." Amen. She's a great woman. Put your hands together. For Very sweet. <laughs> Yeah, maybe she'll come and visit us on the first night of the year. <laughs> amen. <laughs> amen. So please put your hand on your chest. Bless your I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. I am healed. I am healed. I am delivered. I am delivered. I am liberated. I am liberated. And decorated by the Lord. Decorated by the Lord. I am worthy. I am wealthy and make others rich. And make others rich. I live and walk in miracles. I walk in miracles. For I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless everybody. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.